Today I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this kid's toy from Emore Fun Toys and it's a toss and catch game. Um, so this one is pretty inexpensive um, and it's really just all plastic material, not super thick, it's kind of bendable a little bit. Um, and then really what it is, is um, I can remember when I was a kid that I had a toss catch game that was Velcro. So you would have like the sticky Velcro on the side and then the ball was like the soft Velcro that you throw and you could catch it. And so this is really similar to this, only it's not Velcro and so the Velcro doesn't wear out over time. Um, this is actually a little ball that has suction cups. So they're little suction cups all around on here. And so it sticks to your mitt when you throw it like so onto this plastic. It also sticks to various other materials, like if you were to throw it at a window or a mirror or a wall or a table, um, it can just stick onto a whole bunch of different things. So, um, and then the suction cups over time, you know, if they get dirty or whatever, lose their stick, you can kind of just wash them off and then they're back and able to continue working. So. Also, you have these elastic straps on the back side, so the kids will slip their hands in there. And as you can see with the size, I'm definitely able to play with my kids also. I can put one of these on and go out and play. Um, so it's a good size there that small hands can use it and larger adult hands can use it as well. So it's a nice elastic strap that just fits on there and holds pretty securely. And then you're able to catch and toss this ball around. So um, it's kind of fun, bright and colorful. That ball has, whoops, has a bunch of different colors. You got yellow, green, orange on here. And then the actual mitts, you have a green one outlined in pink and orange outlined in purple. My kids like that because they like to have a designated mitt that they wear. Um, so they kind of choose their color there. So yeah, it's nice. There's space for all your fingers to go on here and it's nothing like super fancy or, you know, hardcore materials. It's just simple and a simple fun kids game that is easy to get out and use wherever. Also, what I like about it is that the ball, um, you know, if they miss and hit each other or something, the ball's not super heavy. It doesn't hurt. When my kids play with this inside, I feel pretty confident that they're not going to damage anything like they would if they were throwing around a baseball or something. So it's nice that you've got kind of a soft cushiony ball with this. So this is recommended for kids three and up. Now one thing both of these you can see are meant to go on the left hand so if you were left-handed and wanting to throw with your left hand you can still use this on this hand but you know it's a little bit backwards. So it works great if you're right-handed you've got this on your left hand and then are free to throw with your right. Um, it's still usable for left-handers as well, for sure. But um, just so you know, both of them are facing the same side. So that's been your closer look at this catch and play game. My kids love it. They've been taking it everywhere with them. The weather is nice and warm and they've been out in the yard playing with this and it's been a lot of fun. So, um, and it's holding up to their hard play. So this is made to just be simple plastic, but it's actually you know, been pretty durable when they're running around playing with it, throwing them. So it's pretty cool. It just takes me back to when I had a catcher set like this as a kid that was Velcro and it was hard Velcro that you had to pull off. The great thing about this is that it can stick to many surfaces and you don't have Velcro that's going to wear out over time because it's just plastic and a suction cup. So that's been your closer look at this catch and play game.